Now, a word of faith from Bishop Barra. Many people have been going to church or to church. They sing in the choir, they pray, they praise, they worship the Lord. But look at your life. I mean, your finances, your love life, your family, your health, your career. Do you sleep well? Do you rest, sleep and rest well? How do you feel inside? Do you have peace inside or depression? Do you have positive thoughts or suicidal thoughts? The Lord Jesus once said, let us read together. He said, these people draw near, let me read please. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart, their heart is far from me. And look at that. And in vain, they worship me. Have you been worshiping God in vain? Yes, you do. Because you say, hallelujah. God is good all the time. Praise the Lord. But what about your life as a whole? Your finances? Your family? Your love life? Does it please God? Does it worship God? I have two children. Two kids. If they are doing well, I am praised through their well-being. If they are succeeding, they are successful, I will be praised because I am the father. But if my children are broken and thou, I will feel ashamed. So is God. God feels ashamed when your life is the way it is. But when you raise and you overcome the humiliation, the shame, you overcome Goliath, then you are able to worship the Lord. This is now the moment of the prayer. Let us now ask God to give you a praiseworthy life. In this manner, therefore pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Please, close your eyes. It is now the moment of prayer. My Lord and my Father, give us this day our daily bread, but also give it to this person a praiseworthy life, a life that will praise your name. Because for now, my Lord, the life this person has cannot praise your name. The life this person has is a picture of shame. Nobody wants to have the life she has. She's a single mother. She is divorced, unemployed. This man is an addict, broken, in misery, a broken home, a broken life. Can misery glorify you? Not at all. You said they worship me in vain. Lord, because our act of worshiping must be in accord to our lives. Therefore, Holy Spirit, I pray and I ask you, my God, transform this person's life. Change, my God, their situation. Consecrate this water so that when we drink of this water, we may drink thy power. I ask you in the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. This water is blessed. Drink it with all your faith. Amen. Breathe in and out. Amen. With our Lord Jesus Christ, you can take it. With Him, you can make it and you can be successful.